And what's going on everybody? Remy here from the Rodeo Plays and welcome back to some more Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet. The last time we left off, we um, we found our Arfez, who had ran away from home because she felt like she was inadequate. And then, uh, yeah, we went to, back to the Fugle because she found out what we actually had to do, which actually was to bring one person with her. So that way we were able to do the challenge properly to get into the Fugle. And now that the challenge is completed, we're going to start our raid on a Fugal, which surprisingly enough, before I even edit this video, I already know that's going to be the title of. But, uh, before we begin, our fans, I, I gotta talk to you about your outfit. It's cute or whatever, but, uh, yeah, let's just say I'm not in the best of moods to heal bullet wounds, so you're going to have to wear something else. Oh, there's a whole cutscene right here. What the hell are you doing, Itsuki? Why didn't you consult us about this beforehand? Yeah, they could have other members. I won't tell you what to do. You were our leader after all, and we respect that, but I'm not gonna lie. I feel betrayed. My apologies. My apologies. Mm. I don't know, when I, when I, with Dory Itsuki's voice, I will always switch it between this calm demeanor and Virgil from Devil May Cry. It's, 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 uh, it's throwing me off. My apologies for the disruption. Some of the other members were adamant and wanted to talk to each other. Oh, that's Taipan anyways. Although, between you and me, I think this discussion should have happened before the decision was made, not after. Things are starting to get heated over there. I think we should break this up before anything bad happens, Master. Now, nah, Itzy go fuck about. Well, well, well. If it, isn't, if it isn't the one who poached Itsuki, what the hell did you do to him? You don't just waltz in and recruit a squad leader to join your crew just because you feel like it. Do I look like I just roll over and take orders from somebody else like that? No. I just realize I have, a, I just realize I have other interests now. Huh? What are you talking about? I got tired of running alpha hard. You guys depend on me too much. I'm not asking you to make things fun for me again. I'm saying I'm out to make things fun again myself. So you're really leaving us? Nah, I'm just pulling your legs. I don't have to screw around with a, in another squad to see what it was like. Once I get bored with that, I'll come back. Oh, that's all? I guess that's alright. Don't be gone too long. We'll be waiting for you, Itsuki. Thanks, guys. Are we done here? I have to run off, but I need to go take care of some stuff. Yes, of course. We'll get out of your hair now. Do you actually intend on returning, sir? I'm not one to lie. I'm not one to lie. You know that, Taipan. So you really are tired of being around us, then? Oh, uh, not everyone. You and I are still good. I wouldn't trust the squad to you if we weren't. Just make sure you spar with the guys from time to time so that they don't go stir crazy. Alright? Understood. But in exchange, I want you to come back home from time to time too. The squad exists for the first time. The squad exists first and foremost because of you, you know? Please be good to Itsuki while he's please be good to Itsuki while he's with you all. That's all I ask. Is everything alright, Itsuki? Yeah, you don't need to worry about me. They just took me leave. They just took me leaving the wrong way. Those guys tend to put me in off and on an awful high pedestal. Really, if anything, being a troublemaker is in my blood. You don't need to look. You need to look so concerned, Remy. I assure you, I'm in your squadron of my own free will. Like I say, you might just help me kill this border on mine finally. That's why I'm here. I'm kidding. I can't blame them for what happened. Oh, don't mind me. I was just thinking out loud at this point. So, where to now, leader? Wherever you go, I'll follow. Hey, that's cool to know. But you're all sick. Could you sit my room? I've been wait I'll be waiting for you there. Alright, so Looks like we're going to Kato's room. All right, Jesus Christ! I just seen all the events we have. Oh shit! Okay. Um. Damn. What we got? Rain's over here. 
Uh, who else? We got Rain. We got. I think this is. Wait, is those. No, this is Klein. I thought that was Rain. Uh, we got Klein. We got Rain. Uh, we got Yuki. We got Agil. We got Zalisco over there. We got Stero over there. Jeez. Okay. Um. Shit. I don't know when. But at some point, we'll get around to doing all of these different characters' uh, story. Uh, but shit, I... It's over here that's scary. We got Zaliska. We got... Who else? I think Zaliska, Kareha, and... It's Zaliska, Kareha, and who else? Who's this third person? It's this third person I can't make out. Oh no, I know who the last guy is. Okay, that's something for a DLC. Oh no, he's right here actually. That's somebody for DLC. Um I was wondering, are they here now? Is it now or later that they show? Because there's a set of characters. Now you know you won't know them if you watch a, the traditional Sword Art Online, but if you watch Sword Art Online alternate gun gill online, you know who I'm talking about. So I don't know when they show up. Anyways, enough kicking dirt around. Uh, let's actually go in here to Kitty Toe's room and see what he wants to talk about. All right. All right, Kitty Toe, what you got to talk about? Yeah. Hey, Remy, how do y'all hunting? I'm always happy to join you on a quest or two. This is what I would say right now, but I already got plans. Got to go. <laughs> Let me guess, a date? Huh? So that's your own to me. But, no, that's not it. I guess I could tell you. See, I heard about this new rare item. Actually, it's a photon sword. Oh, I know what this event is. Okay, real quick. Um, as soon as kids will stop talking. Okay. Um, so if you don't know, uh, from the beginning of this series, I started doing Kirito's side quests, and the reason I was doing them was because there is a particular skill that I want. Uh, because it's actually pretty broken, especially when you get it up to a good level, to its level 3 state, and it's not hard to use. That skill I'm talking about is the ability to block bullets like Kirito. Yes, that's an ability you can... Actually, there's two skills you can get from Kirito. You can get the ability to block sword, Not swords, but you can get the ability to block bullets. And you can get the ability to wield uh, a gun and sword from Kirito. And I was actually pushing for the gun and sword. But the deflecting bullets is pretty good too. So this is what this is. It's to get the bullet deflecting skill. I get that guns are the bread and butter of GGO, but I really don't feel comfortable without a sword in my hand. I'm not into collecting items for the sake of it, but if there's a photon sword as awesome as I hope it is, it's worth going for. Uh, stop that. I'm helping you. Pro bono. Wait, you want to help? To be honest, I wasn't sure how I was going to be able to cut it by myself, by myself on this one. So, thanks a bunch. Oh wait, I can't split the rewards with you. I'm pretty strapped for credits right now. I definitely, I definitely would love to back up, so help me out with this one, please. I'll make it up to you somehow, I swear. Hey, you don't know me a thing. Thanks for me. I really appreciate it. Stop. Don't move. I think we got company. Down that way. There's a, quite a few of them. I'm pretty sure they're hostile. This is bad. There's no cover on this road. We fall into an ambush. If we try to take them head on, we'll end up looking like Swiss cheese. And if we try shoot, if we try for a shooting match, they'll pin us down and call for reinforcements. Hey, I got an idea. Let me be a decoy. If I move quick and focus on deflecting attacks with my photon sword, I should be able to close the distance. Our ambushers will have to poke their heads out at me to fire. I want you to put a bullet in them. Snipe them one by one, or shoot them with a barrage of bullets. I'll leave it up to you. Show me what you're made of. Right. Well, here goes nothing. Three, two, one. Go! See, it's moments like this where I wish Fatal Bullet had like some animated, like, 
cutscene. Because I feel like one should have been put there to just show, like, what was going on. But, whatever. Well, that went better than expected. Still, that hurt. I can't believe there were so many of them. I should have realized that the group ambush, that the, that the group ambushing players heading to a photon sword dungeon would be prepared to fight a photon sword wielder. You saved my bacon today. I thought I would have survived that encounter alone. We can't let our guard down just yet. I'm pretty sure we can do this, so let's move out. This is without a doubt the photon sword we're looking for. He made us work for it, but we finally got it. You did it! Did you want to just count in Spanish? Alright. Whoa, he's got seven special abilities. It's not just rare, it's epic. This sword is going to make a leveling a breeze. Thanks again. I couldn't have done it without you. But really, I have to pay you back for this. I've only got two of these swords, right? Huh? Huh. Somehow you cut through that ambush. Sure, you're okay with that. I don't think that's enough to thank you for today, though. I'd love to impart some secret technique onto you right now, right about now. But I already told you how to predict, how to predict ballistic prediction lines by watching your opponent's eyes. All that's left is to practice, focus, and do it. Hey, how about we go practice? This thing is really is, this is something you really need to learn by doing, after all. So let's get out of this dungeon and do it. Let's call it a day. I didn't think you got the hangs of the basics. Now that you have a practice, now that you, now you just have to practice on a real opponent. Thanks for today. I'm actually happy that you're interested in swords too. I know that's, I know it's not what GGO is about, but still. If you ever want to dive into the world of melee combat, let me know. I have a game or two I can show you. Hey, as long as the name ain't Sword Art Online, I'm Gucci. Only if you want to, of course. Sounds like fun. <laughs> Got it. I want to show you just how cool swords are. Just ping me if you ever want to go questing. I'll be there, I'll be there swinging my laser blade in no time. And here we go. Guns and swords. You learn. You can learn this combat style from Kirito. To use it, you will need twice the stats of your sword you plan to equip. When you have a sword equipped, you can switch between fighting with it and fighting with just a sword or using both a sword and gun. While mainly melee fighting while mainly a melee fighting style, you can shoot the gun with it. You can shoot the gun with it as well and use a sword and handgun skills. And that's, ladies and gentlemen, is what makes that broken. Alright. Oh, okay, I had to do this. Cool. Go to here. About Spiegel. Remember that guy Spiegel? Something about him creeps me out. Something about him creeps me out. She not said everything's alright, but I think we should give her some emotional support right now, you know? I'll do my best to spend time with her, but can you try to keep an eye on her too, Remy? Thanks. You know how long ago the Spiegel event was? When he just showed up? Some time ago. Anyways, uh, equipment, uh, do I still have a photon sword? I do. So, yeah. Uh, so you need four strength and ten dexterity to wield this. I have double that. And boom. There it is. Now I have gun and sword. Now, what's great about this is, like like the description for it said, you can use both sword skills and gun skills for this. I mean, you know, pistol-wise. So, that's actually a big advantage to be able to use two different skills. So, yeah, let's see if I have anything for this. Nope. Oh, I do have skills. Alright, so, I'm going to do sword barrier, because I already have that. Um, I'm gonna do speed form two here because I always enjoy moving fast. Um, and now I'm going to do. I think I'm gonna do. Uh, do I not have? I have vapor strike, star splash, sharp nail. I don't have what's it called? A uh, horizontal blade, I think it is. I'm pretty sure that's not the name of it, but um, we're gonna go with sharp nail. And then for a gun skill, I'm going to go with uh, armor break. Yeah, I'm good with that. Okay. All right. So I'm pretty sure we just have to leave now. Uh, can I not switch your clothes? Nope. Definitely can't. Okay. Oh no, I was leaving. 
All right, let's go outside where our next event awaits. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to. Here's the problem with this game. You often don't know what you're doing. What's over here? Oh, Sina. Should I talk to you? I feel like talking to you furthers the story because you also were not here earlier, so. Hmm? How about you? Hey. I didn't, I didn't see you log in. How's the gaming? Rolling in credits yet? I'm doing okay myself. I get a feeling I'm almost at the next level, but I'm not quite there yet. I need to put in time and effort. Well, nothing to it but to do it. Oh, yep, it was definitely you then. Here you are, Sinon. I was looking for you. Spiegel? Glad I found you. I have something I want to tell you. Really? You could have just emailed me. I don't know. This is something I want to tell you in person. Besides, I wanted to see you. The GGO you, Sinon. The GGO you, Sinon. Not the girl from school, eh? The girl from school is kind of cute, too. Okay, but I'll bring up school or real life in here again. Got it? Oh, sorry. It just slipped out. Yeah, be sure that it doesn't happen again. Now, what did you want to tell me? Listen to this, you know. I think I might get my hands on the best sniper rifle in the game. What? Explain. Now. I heard that a new boss spawned in this dungeon, and they dropped a super rare sniper rifle. There's been this, huh. there have been bosses that dropped pistols or SMGs before, but this is the first one that dropped a sniper rifle, or at least that's the rumor. It's even better. How many people know about it yet? From what I can determine, this boss only spawns a few times, and the drop rate on the rifle probably won't be that high. In other words, you need to move fast, or this chance will pass you by. Here, take this. It's the dungeon coordinates. Th thanks. You just want to give me this info? Of course. I'm going to be the strongest player in, GGO in all of GGO, Sinon. If you have a super powerful weapon, no one will be able to stand in your way. And you won't need friends here anymore. You can go back to being the real you. I'd love to go with you. But I promised my brother I'd help him with something. It's very important. It's a shame I won't be able to see you get it, but I'm happy just knowing you'll have it. Good luck, Sinon. I'm always watching out for you. He's gone. He acted like I wasn't even there. Who knows what he was thinking, but I'm pretty sure he noticed you, at least. Anyway, forget about him. This simply gave... This info he gave us comes first. A powerful new sniper rifle, huh? Honestly, I want it bad. I don't think I'll be able to live up to Spiegel's expectations, but I do want to get stronger. And I think he's I think he's right on this one. I have to move fast while I'm missed out. He said not many people know about it yet. That means at least a few people know. I've got competition. I don't need to head to those coordinates ASAP. I know this is pretty a selfish request, but can you back me up? You know that sniper rifle does drop? I won't be able to give it to you, but I can make it up to you some other way. Oh, I don't even get a choice. You're dragging to it. If Spiegel's coordinates were on the mark, in this place, I can feel it. That one. It's big. Can you see the name? That's gotta be the boss Spiegel was talking about. It's not moving. I guess we're staying outside his detection radius, huh? If that's the case, I'm gonna say hello. I gave behind cover and snipe again. So, in case you don't know, if you haven't seen your SAO 2, the boss we're about to fight is the same one that Sinon fought in the first episode to get her sniper rifle. This place looks good. Sorry, but I need you to stay quiet for a bit. It didn't even make a dent. Wait, maybe it did. A little one. This won't be e this won't be an easy fall to fell. Actually, I'm not even sure we can beat it. I think we can fall back for now and then it's worth fighting. Yeah, you're right. If we leave, what's the point of coming in the first place? And I'm not alone. I have you as backup. I put our chances at 50-50. I like those odds. Hey Remy, that boss is serious business. Are you sure you want to do this? Hmm. Leave it to me. 
Thanks. I'll focus on sniping it from here. That's what I'm good at. You fight it, the, you fight it the way you know best, and we'll figure it out as we go. The boss might end up focusing on you, so I'll do what I can to keep it off balance. And, if you're in real danger, get out of there, okay? There's a razor thin line between bravery and idiocracy. And idiocy. I read that word so wrong. Right. It's time. Let's take it down, partner. So yeah, this is the actual fight, by the way. So, um, <laughs> I hope you're ready, because this boss kicked my ass. The first time I played this, this boss kicked my ass maybe twice? So yeah, it's Ghost Pad. Alright, so first thing I'm gonna do is... First thing I'm gonna do is get, get out of its way. Next thing I'm gonna do is, oh, Jesus. Okay, so Armor Break. I'm gonna pop that on you for the extra damage. Okay, butterfly in the sky. All right. So yeah, um, I'm gonna just say this now. Fighting this boss, if you're under leveled, you're gonna get your ass handed to you. If you don't have a gun that's good enough to do the damage you need to, you're gonna get your ass handed to you. Um, and if you're not paying attention, well, surprise, you're gonna get your ass handed to you. So, yeah. Going into this fight, um. It'd be best, for your best interest, it'd be best if you went into this fight with Armor Break to do the most amount of damage you can. Uh, I, this would be, I want to show off the gun and sword skill, but this is actually a very bad time to use that because this boss could whip my ass since he already does ridiculous damage. Um, I'm a, I have, Prioritize healing. Alright. First bar is almost gone. Alright. And first bar is gone. Great. Nope. Yeah, nope. You got messed with that one, Chief. Alright. Uh, boom. I'm gonna pop this back on you. Uh, activate speed form 2. I think you just lower my defenses. Alright. Hey. Good luck, Sina. Huh? Alright. Yeah, nope. Dead end. Alright. Hit you a little bit more. I didn't know what was going on. He, he didn't switch to two different attacks. Okay. Alright, you're a little under half health right now. Fight's going pretty good. I think it's just because I fought this boss so many times, like, in my off time on my other account, that I legit just, it's not difficult to me. Like, I mean, also, I'm not being stupid trying to do extra. Like, oh, man, I really want to test out this gun and sword. Also, it's probably because I'm also not underleveled, so, yeah. I would say, like, level-wise, I'm pretty on par with it. I mean, yeah, it does a lot of damage, but, eh. I'm giving a lot of damage, all right? All right. Also, I just realized my first aid kit is still working, so that's cool. I'll take that. Damn, Xena, he launched you. Damn, he don't want nobody but Xena. That's crazy. Nah, I'm good. Nah, you got that, Chief. Chief, don't pop that corner. I kinda need to grab Cena. Uh, on your feet. Come on, that time's over. I'm gonna try to keep this. Oh, wow. He's gonna keep. Okay, wow. There we go. So cool. I didn't have to actually beat him, I just had to get his health low. Alright. That's cool. All right, watch out. Reloading. Reloading. Wait, it's down. Cool. Nice sniping. Yeah, thanks. Sorry, I guess I'm still in shock. I can't believe we won. 
Oh yeah, I need to check to see what it dropped. What's this? That AMR Tim Timat? I think it's called. Wow, look at the power. And the range is incredible. Of course, a guy like this requires a ridiculous amount of strength to use. My balls really did drop the strongest sniper strike I've ever seen. See, now I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, this might suck to hear, but I guarantee you, I could find a sniper rifle stronger than that one. And it wouldn't even be hard to do. Huh. Congrats. Yeah, I guess some of your trademark muck. I, uh, I read that so wrong. I guess some of your trademark luck rubbed off on me. So, uh, this is gonna sound corny, but. Oh no, this is a game. I was about to say, what am I hearing? Wait. Give me a second. Give me a second, because I don't know if that's a game or. I'm recording this pretty late. So, yeah. Uh, don't worry about it. Alright. So, uh, this is going to sound corny, but, really, thanks a million, Remy. I owe this victory to you and this gun, too. Uh, I owe this victory and this gun to you. I wouldn't have had the firepower or HP to tough it out and take it down, and take it out of balls without you. I probably wouldn't have even made it. I probably wouldn't even made it tired. The only reason I was able to fight today was because I had a partner and a friend. Hey. You saved that bake save my bacon out there. I think you're exaggerating. Still, I'm glad you think so highly of me. But remember, I asked you to come with me because I thought I wouldn't be able to handle it on my own. That's right. I wasn't strong enough. Well um well, with my new team mat, I'm a whole lot stronger. Spiegel said if I get stronger, I won't need friends anymore. But he's wrong. Friends are friends. Sometimes they help you. Sometimes they help. Sometimes you help them. Strength, skill, what they can do for you, it doesn't even enter into the equa equation. My quest to empower myself isn't so that it's so that I can stand alone or turn my back on my friends. I don't want to have my back and supported me so much. That's why I want to get strong, so that this time I can support them. A noble sentiment. Oh, uh, uh, thanks, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, the whole speech was kind of out of character, huh? While I'm opening up, there's another tidbit. I got my own personal reason for all of this, too. There's something inside of myself that I have to overcome. That's a big part of what's driving me to get stronger. In other words, I'm not doing this out of the goodness of my heart. Anyways, we talked long enough. Let's go. We can't let our guards down either. Not with this rare weapon. We'll take the shortest route back. We'll get into a few fights, but... Oh, wait. Sorry, I used up a lot of bullets back there. I'm almost out. The tier mat is pretty... The tier mat is really heavy. The tier mat is really heavy, too, so... I'm nearing my weight limit. I don't think I can carry any ammo except what's in the clip right now. Hey, we're friends, right? I don't want to receive again of some help for a bit longer. Of course. Hey. <laughs> Thanks. I'm sure to return a favor. Okay, that was that dungeon. Okay, cool. Um, the reason I'm gonna leave this loaded screen in is just to explain this. Uh, the that weird sound that sounded like something was scraping. Uh, because it is like one o'clock in the morning as I record this. Uh, I thought that was some. I don't know, like my mother or a boyfriend in the room. And I was snoring on there and I could pick up. Nope, that was the dungeon. Don't know why I made that sound, but, uh, yeah. Hey, Remy, sorry to Wow, okay, didn't mean to do that. Hey, Remy, sorry to, bother sorry to bother you, but it's starting to sound like some squad. It's starting to sound like some squads are making real progress in the fuel now. We better get a move on if we want to clear it first. Just make sure you're ready. Alright. Wow, okay, two people hitting me up, okay? It's finally time to explore the SPC Fugle. Of course, I'm more than happy to accompany you, but there is something I want to investigate myself, and while I hate to turn you down to turn on your invitation, I do plan on going at it alone. Once I'm once I'm done, I'll join back up with you right away. So don't forget about me, or something. Okay. Alright, so, now that that's it. 
Okay, so now that that's set in motion, uh, oh no, we are not leaving till we do this. Okay, so remember how earlier I said that there were characters from, okay, let me start with this. If you don't know what Sword Art Online Alternate Gun Yellow Line is, it's a Sword Art Online story that doesn't follow the main cast. What it is, is it's this point, so it follows this girl named Karen, whose character name is Lynn, and it takes place in between um shit all right hey come my knowledge uh because the timeline for sword out of line when this came out threw me off at first i thought it was an alternate timeline um this alternate gun gill came out around the time or <coughs> timeline wise it came out it basically the events of alternate gun gill happened between the events of mm, i want to say the events of phantom the phantom bullet arc and no, it came after the Phantom Bullet, the Phantom Bullet arc, and either before or during the Mother Rosario arc, because they make reference to Kirito and Sinon in the rest of the game. But yeah, basically it was about this girl named Lynn who had became who had become a player in Gun Gale, and basically they just did the whole battle or they did a battle royale story twice, and uh, yeah. So this is what this leads into. These are these these are the characters from that and they were added in an update when, around the time the game first came out so yeah i'm gonna add them because they're cool hmm. do you need something hey wait i haven't seen you before have i seen have i seen you someone before of course you have this is the player that the artist right after starting gto for the first time all right now i remember jeez it's an honor bumping into you here can I, like, shake your hand or something? I was hoping I was hoping some of your luck could rub off me. I can sure use it. Huh? Hmm. Sure, I'm always happy to shake hands. Sorry about that. I know she, I know she can be lively, but she means well. Anyways, I'm Len, and she's Fukuzaro. He is called me Fuka, as I do. Everybody does. But seriously, this must be fair or something. I love it if we can be friends. What do you say? But don't think I won't treat you like, like any other enemy if I see you out there in the field. You'll get no mercy from me. And I'm expecting the same from you, got it? What's gotten into you? You pick a, you picked that up from some weird movie or something? Maybe? It was so good though. The heroine was so cool and like super noble. I'm not planning to make this more dramatic than it needs to be, right? Of course not. Why would I? Any fight going to be, any fight's going to be over before it starts anyways. If you say so. Although, if it's actually less, if it actually lasts a little while, we get a good war of words. We get a good war of words going between us as we fight too. What did I just ask? Hmm. You're a regular pair of comedians. You can say that. There's nobody who knows more about Lynn's VR and real life than me. I heard this one time she literally started hating a VR and real within 20 seconds of walking into it for the first time. From what I gather, her avatar might have touched the nerve when it came to her height. Fuka, no. Okay, so maybe I had a, maybe I had a little to do with it too. And that's all the more reason why I tr I'm trying to get her to enjoy GGO. I know it's a sudden, but try to be friends with her, okay? I know she has her quirks, but ultimately, she's a good person deep down. Quirks? Like, what? I mean, for starters, like how already you got it equipped is pink. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Being, being uniform has its perks, you know? And that's how you love that guy just a little too much. I swear I've heard you talk to her before. I don't do that. I don't do it that off. I mean, ever. I don't talk to my gun. How's Pichon doing, Lin? <laughs> I know you also buy airsoft guns and... Actually, I should probably shut up there. Sorry, I didn't mean to go in the real world stuff. Hey! Oh, calm down. I'm done now. It's time to get down to business. Huh? Lynn here, de Linda, Linda here can definitely hold her own in a gunfight. She can hit her targets at a distance. I always miss no matter how hard I try. That's putting it nicely. I see you miss targets that were practically in your face when you try to use a pistol. 
Oh, right. I can probably make an unmade grenade launcher. I'm not designed for precision, so I can make it work. Yeah, that much is true. They definitely come in handy a lot. Yeah, yeah, not about me. Maybe not to you, man. You really gotta learn to sell yourself better before it's too late. Since when did this become a pep talk? Look, just listen to me. Take a good look at her. She's pretty sharp, right? But no one ever appears to see you. Like you're fighting Kita Ball on fire. She's a tough shit and crazy smart to boot. What more could you want? And let me and let me say this right now. Not as a Sword Art Online fan, but from someone who has seen it, Fuka's not kidding about that. Like I legitimately always believed that after watching Len fight in that anime, Alternate Gun Gale, my first thought was, if Len and Kirito had to throw hands on the battlefield, Len's winning. Easy. Stop! You're embarrassing me! And once she really sets her sights on the target, you better expect they when they wind up dead one way or another. Hell, you can tear apart her you can tear apart live from Lily, she still went. Literally by the skin of her teeth if she had to, and she did at one point. Do you have to put it like that? I'm just trying to help, you know? Well, I don't need it. <sighs> Seriously, I'm nothing special. Take what she said with a couple tons of salt. Nope. I refuse to. Hm. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Anyways, we better get going now. I hope you have a good hunt, I guess. Good luck out there. We just called that you raised you that you raised those bodies so we can break in even more cash. Look at that's not really something you should say. Oh, hush. That's just how people root for each other in GGO. At least, if it wasn't before then, then it is now. <laughs> if you say so, I guess we shouldn't take it easy either. I guess we should take it easy either then. What do you say? What do you say we go to that one place? You mean the one we discussed earlier? Sure, sounds good to me. You know, you know that, you know that wherever you, uh, you know that wherever you go, I'll follow. I'll always follow. I do. I appreciate it. All right, catch you later. Either our blocking or the battlefield. All right, so yeah, that was Hanafuka. But those are not the only characters that were uh, added to this update. When I say the entire cast, like the entire main cast. So, yeah. Over here, we have two more people from Ultimate Gun Gale. But yeah, uh, I'm going to end this video right here. So, I assumed we were going to start the the fugle today um we're not uh so yeah i'm gonna end this video right here when we come back the first thing we're gonna do is talk to those two over there so then also by the way i'm gonna just show this off real quick a uh, friend list and then you can go down don't worry about all these people they're not important uh but yeah len fukazaro yeah so yeah they started uh 52 which is pretty interesting actually real quick what level am i i think they started my nope 42 they're 10 levels higher than me so yeah, when we come back, we'll talk to them to like get a quick brief down, a quick uh, brief of their character, and then we'll legitimately start the fugal in the next episode. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, why don't you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And with that being said, this is Tyranny Plays signing out saying peace, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Dosta Vinya.